And I know, Jim, you made an incredible uh, storyboard with your teammates, and it really shows truly tour. how this camera can zoom. You want to take a little tour through this? Should we do that? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Well, so we're going to start. This is the full version of the panorama, 360 degrees. It connects on the left and the right. You could wrap it around. Uh, and it goes right, right down to looking at our feet out to, to the horizon and a little bit of the sky as well. So go ahead and, and zoom to the first region here. We're going to zoom in on this panorama all the way behind the rover. This is looking to the north, a little bit northwest. Uh, and you can see a couple of different ridges. There's a near ridge closer to us, and then there's those far mountains. The near ridge closest to us is the, the front edge of the delta the Jezero Crater Delta that brought us to this site, that brought this rover to this place, and that we're going to eventually drive over to. Beyond that, those distant mountains are the, the rim of Jezero Crater. You know, Jezero is a big hole in the ground. It has these mountainous uh, uh, circular uh, rim of, of uh, mountains that surround us, and, and we're seeing them all in the edges of this uh, this panorama. So those are pretty far away. Those are three, four, five kilometers away in the distance. But the delta itself is only about two kilometers, a little under a mile and a half or so away. So it's relatively close. The engineers got us in a beautiful spot. And uh, uh, let's let's zoom back out and just look at a couple of the features. A number of the science uh, folks on our team have been looking at these different areas and zooming in and trying to do some instant science and analysis. And let's go to the first zoomed in region here. Uh, you're transported. Uh, you can see the resolution of the panorama, right? We, you know, we keep going in there, and it's like, wow, look at this detail. Uh, this is uh, just a, a, a blocky hill that we think is a separated remnant, maybe, of the original delta. Uh, maybe the delta was much larger, and it's been eroded away, but leaving these little blocky remnants behind, uh, we see you know, some evidence that it might be more resistive on its top. This is obviously our first look at it. Uh, we're going to be getting much higher resolution data. This is our widest angle zoom, so our lowest resolution almost on the camera. So we're starting to telephoto in to these now over the coming days and weeks, and we'll get much more detail. And then, of course, to get even more detail, we'll drive over there or somewhere near there. We'll get closer to these features. Let's go to the next one. So we'll zoom back out and get a, get a sense of, again, the the, the wide scale, right? Now let's zoom into the next one. I think this is going to be another part of the delta. This is uh, uh, farther uh, towards the north and, and west part of the delta. You see some, again, this blocky kind of top to it. There's the faint hints of some layering in here. Uh, maybe, you know, we would expect that from what we've seen from orbit and from what we know about deltas, but it's really kind of a tease because we, of course, want better resolution and lots of folks thinking about what well, what could be going on here? Lots of sort of geologic comparisons to what's going on in deltas and other places on the Earth. Let's zoom out and look at some other features that are really close by. Some individual rocks and other rocky regions. We'll go to the next one. I think this is going to go to, yeah, this is an area pretty close uh, to the rover that's uh, uh, been scoured by the retro rockets coming down. And, and delivering the rover on the sky crane. So some of the dust and soil has been scoured away, exposing these rocks with some, some layers. That white rock in there is about a half a meter uh, across, or about a foot and a half across for scale. Uh, and uh, interesting uh, features and textures on it. Uh, we don't know whether these are volcanic, sedimentary, some combination of them. We don't have chemical and mineral data yet, but again, the cameras are helping us triage and identify the places where we want to get those detailed chemical and mineral measurements. Let's zoom out and go to the next one. We've got two more here to zoom in on. I love how it, it you just you, you get a real sense of the resolution uh, on this uh, panorama. Here we go. We're going to another interesting, weird little rock. This one is also about half a meter across, about a foot and a half across, and uh, it has uh, informally been called the harbor seal, uh, and it is a highly eroded, probably wind-carved rock. And we've seen rocks like this at other <clears throat> Mars landing sites. Uh, the, these rocks have been exposed to the winds of Mars for billions of years, and you'd think that the sand grains, you know, 
gently moving across the surface wouldn't do much erosion. But if you let them do that work for two, three billion years, you can create these just fantastic uh, forms uh, in the rocks. These are these are called vent effects on the earth. And we do see these kind of wind carved features. We think they're wind carved features, at least. We need to get over and take a closer look or get the high resolution on it to know uh, uh, better. And even uh, one more, we'll zoom out and zoom back into one more. And these, I think, are uh, this area, uh, which is uh, going to be to the to the right here, is even more enigmatic. Uh, and some of the most interesting stuff we're looking at. These are light toned, uh, pitted rocks that, again, part of the dust and, and soil that was covering them has been blown away by the uh, by the retro rockets. If, hopefully, you've you've all seen that great movie about the the crazy structures and the winds moving when the retro rockets came down almost like it was alive it's just phenomenal stuff so this was all has all been kind of cleared off a little bit and you know are these uh, volcanic rocks are these carbonate rocks are these some something else uh, you know they have coatings on them we don't know we don't have any chemical data or mineral data on them yet but boy they're certainly interesting and part of the story about what's going on here is is uh, is going to be told uh, when we get more detailed information on these uh, these rocks and some of the other materials in this area. So let's zoom back out again. And uh, that just gives you a flavor for what you can do in exploring this panorama on your own. The uh, uh, NASA Photo Journal site has released the full resolution TIFF file. If you want to download that, it'll take a little while, 650 megabytes or so. But you want to wallpaper your bathroom with Mars, that's the file to use highest possible resolution. And there are many of us on the team are just giddy and spending hours just pouring through this and place to place. It's a lot of fun.